Christian Fittipaldi. Welcome to Exotic Driving Experience. Over the course of the next two hours, you'll have a chance to do something that only a small percentage of people ever get to. You're going to get behind the wheel of one of the finest production vehicles in the world on an actual racetrack. So to start with, what's your favorite Disney experience? By far, it's a small world. Small world. Small world. My favorite too. <laughs> it's a small world because when I went there with my daughter, I think I've never seen her so happy. And, and it's, it's something that I'll never, ever, ever forget in my whole entire life. She's a year and four months old, and she was standing on the boats, and she was just looking at everything. And, and it, it, it was amazing, fantastic. Do you have any advice for aspiring race car drivers? <laughs> um, Keep the gas pedal wide open all the time. That's one advice. In the 458. Next. And don't give up. Like sometimes in, in, in racing, it's really hard. Uh, some uh, ulterior motives sometimes sort of uh, dictate what's going to happen to your future. And things are not easy, so just keep trying hard. right time. You'll definitely uh, conquer all your dreams. Do you have a favorite racetrack? In America, my favorite racetrack is probably Elmer Lake and uh, Portland. As far as the uh, road course is concerned, on an oval in America, it's probably Nazareth, Pennsylvania, and uh, Daytona. Daytona is, 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 is a pretty cool track. Well, thank you for your time. Some call these cars exotics. To others, they are supercars. But no matter what term is used, we'll all agree that the automobiles awaiting you are among the most incredible driving machines ever produced for the road. These are dream cars, which bear little resemblance to most other passenger vehicles in look, feel, and most importantly, performance. But more on that 